This week, gear up for a rescue mission as we come to your house and help you set up your home theatre. Fix your air conditioning this summer without breaking a sweat with our do-it-yourself tricks. Get your party shoes on because we're bringing to you the best in sound in the market in our top 5 segment. Don't know what a factory reset is? Don't worry, we will take you through the most clever tricks to enhance your laptop performance. Looking to buy a TV but confused with the endless choices in the market? Well, we just made your job a lot easier. This is Go Digital and we're here with our gear and manuals ready to make your life easier and faster. Hi, this is Arthi. And I'm Shivam and this is Go Digital. From customer complaints to demo setups of seemingly complicated technology to the latest apps and trending gadgets. This is your one-stop shop for all your tech news and views. So let's see who needs our help today. Hi. 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 Shivam. So I've recently bought a new home theatre system for my home and I love the whole idea of you know connecting it to the internet and streaming online films and videos but I don't know how to do that. Seems like we have our day star sorted out for us. Don't worry, our team of techies will hopefully do the trick. Okay, cool. Thanks. This seems like an area you're interested in, aren't you? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead with it? I'll see you back at the den. Alright. All the best. The rescue squad is prepping up for the task at hand. We're glad we had this conversation with Shitich. It's no fun having a brand new home theatre at home that's still waiting to be set up. The rescue engineers are all ready with their gears and manuals. This should be on their way soon to help Shitej out. The exciting prospect of this particular task is to catch the look on Shitej's face once we fix up his home theatre system for him. The rescue squad has just about reached Shitej's house. Hey, hi. Thank you so much for coming to my house and helping me out. After learning which home theatre we're helping him set up, the squad enthusiastically gets to work. Now there are several ways to connect a home theatre to the internet, but the rescue squad will only explore the easiest route, so you can do it all over again by yourself if you ever have to. While they familiarized themselves with the system and its controls, Shitij and Aarti had a little chat about music and she was pleasantly surprised to know that they practically have the same taste. Back to the task at hand, the rescue squad is showing Shitij the various steps involved as they carry out the demonstration simultaneously. This will help Shitij as well as others who may find themselves facing a similar problem and are watching the show right now. The steps are fairly simple. For starters, configure your network settings for the router and enable wireless encryption on your network to safeguard your information and secure your broadband signal. Next, enable all your devices to connect to the internet and other media. Connect networkable devices like your computers, gaming consoles, Blu-ray and DVD players to the network. They're almost done. Configure new or existing audio and video components. And you will observe that your Wi-Fi is almost hooked up to your home theatre. Naturally, the steps might vary slightly for different brands. All you have to do in this case is check your manual and follow instructions for a successful connection. Usually, they're quite simple. You just have to not be intimidated by the tech speak. Or you could do what Shidij did and give the rescue squad a call. 
Now that we got that bit out of the way, we will help Shitij hook up his Reconnect Thunderstorm to his TV. For those of you who are not aware, the Reconnect Thunderstorm is a brand new, entirely affordable sound bar, which can easily be connected via Bluetooth or cable. Easily available at prime electronic stores around the country, this is one buy you should consider investing in. From the looks of it, the team is done and Shitit's home theatre system is ready to roll. It's now time to test it out by streaming a music video. We'll stream one off YouTube. You now have access to all your online content on a screen of your choice with an unparalleled sound. The remote is all you need to access your computer screen, which is now your home theatre screen. As can be seen, the picture quality is superb and it hardly took the team a few minutes to complete the entire process. It's always nice to have a satisfied customer. How was it? I hope Shritij is now streaming videos on his home theatre system. Yes? Yeah. And yes, I forgot to tell you, Mr. Harman called said his air conditioner wasn't cooling his room evenly. Yeah, now that's a common problem with Indian summers. And calling an electrician or a service guy for small air conditioning problems can be quite a hassle, right? And, and not to forget, it's a little heavy on the pocket too. You can follow these few easy and quick steps to fix these problems on your own. Air conditioning problems are common in Indian weather conditions. The Efficient Rescue Squad will take you through some of the common problems that occur with air conditioning. For starters, the AC unit often cools rooms unevenly. If this is a problem you're facing, check the fan on your unit to make sure it's kicking enough air into your rooms. If the problem lies with the degree to which it's cooling, it could be because of dirt buildup in the condenser unit and the evaporator causing the unit that does the cooling to fluctuate. In this case, check your thermostat and make sure it's at the right temperature. These are some of the simpler solutions. And if you think this was cool, wait for what Shivam has in store for you. Now, these might be the reasons why your air conditioner is not working so efficiently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I think we might be speeding up the process. Let me break it down for people like me who, who are not so tech savvy. So what you really need to do to make sure your air conditioning is doing its job right in the summer is... The easiest way to get your AC to work properly is to remove the filter and vacuum out all the accumulated dirt and grime. Place the filter back on switch the AC on and your compressor should work better than it usually does. In case of a power failure, it makes sense to switch the AC off from the main switch in order to avoid damaging the compressor. You can also invest in getting a stabilizer to balance out the voltage fluctuations. Let us know more such everyday problems and we provide you with easy do-it-yourself solutions. Lists seem to be all over the internet these days. And so we have come up with one of our own. Every day we're on a lookout to make our everyday life easier and more convenient. The purpose of technology over the years has been to make our lives easier. Keeping that in mind, we've managed to compile an interesting list of five top WeConnect products to help make your life easier. Presenting wireless home sound that is surreal and embodies the true spirit and soul of sound. The Reconnect Thunderstorm 2.1 channel MM speakers can be converted to a sound unit that fits the design of your home as a single soundbar or set them apart as two separate units. It can be easily connected to your Bluetooth enabled devices, smartphones or tablets to stream music from. Next is this light and compact WeConnect portable power bank that allows you to always stay connected. Durable and portable, it can easily fit into your pocket, backpack or handbag. Only needs to be recharged before you head out and you're on your way to enjoy the services on your phone, tablet, uninterrupted. Sleek and stylish to boot, it's the most convenient thing that you want to own in a life so busy like this. Sleekly designed in black, the Reconnect RAM SE2103 2.1 channel multimedia speaker is a perfect blend of style and functionality. With superior quality and audio output, these speakers enhance your entertainment experience by giving you realistic sound effects and background scores. It has a pre-installed USB function that can be used to connect external media devices. Play your music loud and clear when you bring home the Reconnect 
channel multimedia speaker. This multi-port USB charger has five USB ports that helps you connect a lightning cable to charge a number of devices like your phones, tablets, sound bars, etc. It also comes with an overcharge and short circuit protection. The Reconnect Wireless Router is a combined wired wireless network connection device designed specifically for small business, office or home. Now this provides a simple, very fast way to access the internet or the ethernet without cables for work or for fun. It offers a speed up to 300 Mbps, adopts 2 into 2 MIMO technologies, has two undetachable only directional antennas, providing even better wireless performance, transmission rates, stability and coverage. Now these are some brilliant gadgets to invest in at an affordable price and get the maximum return on investment. Our work seems to be really cut out for us today. I got this call from a really hassled customer. How often does it happen that your laptop hangs up on you and needs an OS reset? For the longest time, I didn't know what that meant either. Which is why I'm glad we received this complaint today. And we will surely address it in our What Works For You segment. And OS Restoring helps you restore your windows without losing any data at all. Our rescue expert can help demonstrate how to just go about this. Although the downside of this is, it won't get your system rid of any virus. But the upside, when the device returns, your data will still be there and your system will work much faster. This method is also really surprisingly simple. Of course, with each device, the process to carry out a factory reset would vary. The recovery manager application installed on the hard drive of notebook PCs can be used to rediscover the computer to its original operating condition and can be used to create a set of personalized recovery disks. In case there's a system failure, you may use either the recovery manager or the recovery disks installed on your computer's original operating system and software. Depending on when the computer was manufactured, the recovery manager installed on it was developed by either SoftLink, CyberLink or by the laptop brand. The screens vary slightly and there might be up to three very different types of recovery options available for your model. The recovery process can take from 30 minutes to 2 hours or more to complete. The computer will appear to stop working for long periods of time and will then restart several times. Do not interrupt the process and don't attempt to use the computer until you are prompted to log in with a specific username and password. You can use any of the following methods to launch recovery OS and follow screen instructions. Click start, type recovery in the search field and select recovery manager to run recovery from the drive. Turn on the power and press F11 to run recovery without starting windows. On some models, press keys and then F11 key. Insert a recovery disk purchase from HP and turn the power on to boot from the DVD disk. High definition LCD and LEDs are acquiring the top spot of the highest sold commodity. Smart TVs are also an excellent example of the technological convergence we stand in today. These devices besides providing the basic features of the normal TV also provide internet TV, online content, on-demand streaming and home networking access. With technology exceeding our expectations, it's difficult to keep up with the trends and features on everyday gadgets like mobiles, tablets or laptops. That is why in today's segment, we bring to you a few easy steps to carry out a factory reset on your laptop. 
While slightly trickier than doing it on a smartphone or a tablet, it's very handy if your laptop's giving you a performance problem or a virus or if you simply want to sell it. Do carry out a backup of your particular device before you attempt rebooting it in any way. To recover a Windows 8 laptop or PC to factory default settings, move the mouse to the bottom right corner to initialize the charm bar. If you are using the touch screen, you need to swipe in from the right edge of the screen to initialize the charm bar. Click settings. Click change PC settings. Now click general and then select remove everything and reinstall Windows. Click get started. If the operating system is Windows 8.1, click update and recovery and then select remove everything and reinstall windows click next select the drives you want to remove select the proper options to clean your drive click reset to reset the pc and for those who like me have jumped in on the apple bandwagon Keeping in tradition with their user-friendly interface, factory reset for your MacBook is done in a few easy steps. Cleaning out a beloved Mac before passing it on to the potential buyer is a good idea if you don't want your personal information in the hands of a stranger. Make sure your Mac OS X is updated to its latest version. Save all your files and work on the internal drive onto an external hard drive before you proceed with the restoration. Reauthorize your iTunes Store account and any other third-party apps like Photoshop that are locked to your Mac. Sign out of your iCloud and restart your Mac in recovery mode by holding down Command and the R key during restart. Use Disk Utility to erase the hard drive Click Reinstall OS X and follow the instructions to reinstall. And voila, your job's done. Want to upgrade your TV viewing experience but are confused with the variety available? HD, UHD, LCD, LED, the, the, the choices are mind-boggling. And despite the intensive marketing done by TV manufacturers, it becomes even more important for us to see the TV sets available in the market. High definition LCD and LEDs are acquiring the top spot of the highest sold commodity. LED technology makes the resolution better by improving contrast. Apart from being power efficient, it also has a wider color gamut compared to LCD sets. LED TV is the holy grail of display technology. It gives you better colors, higher contrast, and allows the screen to be extremely thin and flexible. The downside to this, however, like any other cutting-edge technology, is that it's on the upper end of expensive. Smart TVs are also an excellent example of the technological convergence we stand in today. These devices, besides providing the basic features of the normal TV, also provide internet TV, online content, on-demand streaming, and home networking access. Resolution 2 plays a key role in the effectiveness of high-definition televisions. It is the it thing that you want to own. HD TVs have a slightly lower resolution than full HD TVs. Add the introduction of Ultra HD and you will get 4K TVs that will help upscale the HD videos to Ultra HD videos. It's a panel full HD TV with added 3D effects. This produces two continuously moving images, one of which is sent to the viewer's left eye and the other to the right. To create a proper illusion of 3D, the left eye's image mustn't be seen to the right eye and vice versa. A basic 3D TV is fully HD, delivers 3D content and this content can be viewed with active or passive glasses. And with this, we reach to the end of this episode. Tune in next week for our weekly dose of tech news and views.